10 years ago tomorrow, lives across southern Indiana were changed forever after a deadly tornado outbreak hit that area so hard. One of those tornadoes in EF4 tore a path right through several counties and hit the school building in Henryville with the students and the staff still inside. First Alert Storm Team meteorologist Chelsea Smith sat down with some of those students recently to reflect on March 2nd, 2012 and its lasting impacts. It went on for, it felt like forever. Pretty scary to know that like that happened and I was 50 feet from it, just like in this little room. Just pretty crazy. Sam Gillis and Jackson Bagshaw were seven year old second graders at Henryville Elementary School when the EF4, producing winds of 170 miles per hour, struck their school around three in the afternoon. It got really loud and deafening. You could hear a bunch of stuff crashing and it got pitch black. It, like your ears started popping. Initially, the daycare took shelter in the bathrooms near the elementary portion of the school. After it was all over, that section entirely was like destroyed. Thankfully, teachers decided to move the students to an office in a different part of the building moments before the tornado hit. This is formerly the uh, elementary office. This is where the students that were here after school took shelter. If we had even like stayed in that bathroom, can't really say what would happen. Gillis and Bagshaw were among the first to see what was left of their school. We walked through the hallway and it was all just rubble and stuff. It was just, they were hanging wire, ceiling, tiles, glass, steel. And we walked through there, we walked through the cafeteria, which was just basically ripped apart. And it was a parent's worst nightmare. Gillis's mom and dad were 20 minutes away in Jeffersonville, Indiana, with no way to reach their son. And he got about like a mile and a half away from the school and traffic was so bad, he pulled off to the side and got out and just ran the rest of the way, just trying to find me. Five to 10 minutes after the school was hit, the tornado was headed directly towards seventh grader Isaac Middleton's house, where he was taking shelter in his basement with his mom and two friends. It's incredible to hear your house being split into toothpicks, basically. Middleton says the first two floors of his tri-level home were destroyed or wiped out completely, with his room lying in the front yard. My house just, it's gone. We have no, nothing. We have nowhere to go. We're not sure what we're gonna do. It's just a process that just keeps rolling in your mind. Now Gillis and Bagshaw are seniors getting ready to graduate, and Middleton, a first-time teacher at Henryville Junior and Senior High School. While 10 years have passed, the memories and impacts haven't. I still get scared over storms and all that, like really bad ones, but I've gotten better about it. It gave me anxiety problems, but I've learned to cope with it. Sometimes going to the elementary side, just like going to drop something off to a teacher, like pick up my sister, I'll stop for a second because I'll just get like a brief little flashback. Stay in there! Stay in! You're going to come out! And it only took about five months to restore the schools to get students back in for the next school year. I'm meteorologist Chelsea Smith, WHAS 11, on your side. And a special program note for you about tomorrow. Our coverage of the tornado outbreak will continue tomorrow night right here with a special 30 minutes at 530.